the Lowlands. Lowland whiskies are considered the most light-bodied of all Scotch regions. Perched just above England, the Lowlands can sometimes run away from peat or salinity. Soft and smooth malt whiskies are characteristic of the region, offering a gentle, elegant palate reminiscent of grass, honeysuckle, cream, ginger, toffee, toast, and cinnamon. The Lowlands, like most of Scotland, were once a thriving hub of malt whiskey production, until the need for grain to drive blended Scotch whiskey production made making single malt whiskey an almost forgotten art there. But a few outposts preserve the old ways, and a grassy, easy-drinking style of malt whiskey that still has many admirers. Its days as a significant single malt player are history. This is now the home of blended whiskey. Large quantities of grain whiskey form its foundation, but a few producers keep up the trademark light and grassy lowland malt whiskey style. Lowland distillers must have really disliked the English because most lowland distilleries were founded close to the northern border of the region, which puts them as far away from England as they could possibly get without actually becoming highland whiskies. The majority of lowland whiskey distilleries was founded along the line between Glasgow and Edinburgh. As stated previously, the lowlands are the master of blended whiskey due to their grain whiskey production. Though the land may be less mountainous, rugged, and complex than its northern counterpart, this region is far from boring. Actually, more distillation used to happen in the lowlands region than in any other Scottish region, in fact. A little history. The lowlands are also known for their silent stills, which sadly no longer produce whiskey. Mass production was the enemy of single malt whiskey production in the lowlands, with distillers earning the region a bad reputation in the 18th and 19th century by flooding the market with poor quality whiskies. Already impacted by the rise in popularity of blended whiskey, also suffering in comparison with their more characterful highland whiskey rivals, lowland malt whiskies were dealt further blows, like tax hikes and the First World War, and the onset of prohibition in the United States. These factors ruined the finances of many distillers, leading them to close their facilities or refocus on making grain spirit to be combined with Highland and Island malt whiskies for the rising number of blended Scotch whiskey brands entering the market. As stated, the Lowlands are masters of the blended whiskey. Thankfully though, a few hardy lowland distillers survived the bad times, continuing to produce the gentle, grassy, and easy-drinking single malt-style whiskies that are the signature style of the region, including Glen Kinchy, just east of Edinburgh, and Ahentoshan, on the outskirts of Glasgow, whose triple distilled whiskey offers an echo of lowland distillation history. Often referenced as the lowland ladies due to their lighter, floral tones, the region's famous feminine whiskies include Glen Kinchy, Linlithgow, Girvan, and Strathclyde, amongst others. Typical character and style of lowland whiskies. Grassy, honeysuckle, cream, toffee, toast, and cinnamon. For an example of a lowland whiskey, we have Ahentoshan, 12-year-old whiskey. The aromas include a flowery hint of green apple, creme brulee, a burst of citrus, and the signature nuttiness, ryeness, and green leafiness known to the brand. The palate is vegetal, grassy, and a little bitter. Smooth and sweet with hints of tangerine, lime, and ginger. It finishes very gingery and slightly drying with a pleasant, lingering nuttiness. The Lowlands light and enjoyable. A great way to start with Scotch whiskies if you don't try a blended whiskey first. But even if you do start with a blended whiskey, there's a strong chance you'll actually be drinking a lowland whiskey in there somewhere. Now you know. Cheers.